How's it going, y'all? Navy Sooner here. Today, probably going to piss some people off because we're going to be talking about plate carriers versus chest rigs and OBE in an SHTF situation. I don't mean like SHTF is in like, oh shit, this happened, but ah, we're fine. Rule of law is back. I'm talking about rule of law is gone. Civilization has gone to shit and it's the end of the world as we know it. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Plate carriers versus chest rigs and LBE in those situations. First, for all the normies, we'll talk about what a chest rig and a plate carrier are, or chest rig and LBE versus a plate carrier, what they are. So LBE and chest rig carries your shit, your magazines, your first aid, maps, face paint, first aid, I probably said that, but anything that you don't, that you need on you that you can get to immediately don't have to take a backpack off whatever you can get to it immediately right in here now a plate carrier carries ballistic plates now there's people out there that wear plate carriers without ballistic plates and to those people y'all are dumb anyways but plate carriers carry ballistic plates there are also kangaroo pouches on plate carriers and pouches on the sides and everything and you can attach a chest rig to a plate carrier but in the general sense plate carrier carries your plates your chest rig carries your shit so now we're going to go into plate carriers and their pros and cons the first pro for a plate carrier is it protects your vital organs if you have plates in there i'm not talking about those dumbasses that wear plate carriers without plates i'm talking about ones with plates in it those chest protect those <laughs> those plate carriers protect your vital organs your heart your lungs there doesn't protect your head obviously doesn't protect your abdomen you can get different stuff for that but we're just talking about plate carriers so that is a definite pro you're not going to get deleted when a bullet hits your heart or your lungs which i mean takes you a little while but yeah anyways another one is you can configure it in many different ways like i said you can put a chest rig onto a plate carrier you can put backpacks on your plate carriers the only problem with putting backpacks there is you have to have someone else be able to get to it or you have to take off your whole plate carrier but there are many different ways that you can configure a plate carrier and that's a good thing so i mean you can incorporate chest rigs with plate carriers in some cases chest rigs can be concealed I have a Ferro Concept Slickster, which if I don't put anything on it, would be able to conceal under like a jacket. And so there are some plate carriers that are easily concealed. And I mean, typically you wanna be wearing jackets with that. T-shirts aren't gonna conceal shit. Cons, they're heavy. No matter if you have lightweight plates like ceramic plates, they're still heavy. I don't care. Just, yeah, I mean, someone's going to come in and say, oh, well, you're just a pussy. Like, okay, I'm talking about the differences. And I guarantee you, go have fun marching 20 miles with a fucking plate carrier on. Just do it. I dare you. Because I guarantee you, the people that are saying that haven't. Also, they're paying the ass to get on and off, to don and doff. They are just, they're a pain in the ass. Yes, uh, chest rigs can be hard sometimes, but they are a lot easier, a lot quicker, and just plate carriers are kind of a pain in the ass uh, in general, uh, except for protecting yourself. Another is, they're fucking hot. Uh, they trap everything right here, and they just will make you hot. It's going to be hard to take them off and put them back on. Oh, I'm going to take this off because it's so hot. Oh, crap. We have contact. Let's, hold on. Let me get this on real quick. Okay. Yeah, we're good. It's pretty hard. Now, granted, there are some ways to do quick detach for your cummerbund, but still, it's a pain in the ass. Now, we're going to go into pros for chest rigs. Typically, they're much lighter than plate carriers. Yes, they can get loaded down, but they are lighter than plate carriers because they don't have the ballistic plates and another pro is you can have them just placards right here and then adding stuff to it what you need or you can have just a placard here or you can have open front chest rigs slash lbe and there those are really easy to get on but i mean there are different ways that you configure both a right in the front 
placard and a split chest rig. Your chest rigs can be configured in a load bearing situation where you can put backpacks attached to them via different types of harnesses and they're much easier to get to on backpacks than plate carriers. Uh, you can use say like the Alice uh, gun belt as a chest rig, like a split front chest rig style situation. So they can be done as say LBE. If you don't have anything on your back with your chest rig, you can put a backpack on there a lot easier than you can with say a plate carrier. And yes, you can attach a plate carrier to a, I mean, you can attach a backpack to a plate carrier, but you have to have someone either get the stuff out for you or you have to stop and take your plate carrier off to get whatever out you want. A pro about a chest rig is they can be integrated with plate carriers. You can have your placards put onto the front of your plate carriers. You can have the low profile plate carriers and then put on a split front chest rig or your LBE's uh, belt on over it. So, I mean, they can be configured with your plate carriers. Now, the big con that I have with chest rigs is that you have to integrate them with plate carriers if you want any kind of ballistic uh any kind of ballistic protection so uh, that's not a huge con especially when i get into talking about it later on it's just if you want any kind of ballistic protection, you have to wear a chest or you have to wear a plate carrier. All right, now we're going to go into the different types of situations that you can use for plate carriers and chest rigs, and we'll start with plate carriers. One is vehicle uh, vehicle inserted operations, but in an SHTF situation, if I mean, that's probably going to go to about nothing in the future, if the world were to go to shit. WROL, you're probably not going to have vehicles to have vehicle inserted operations. And that's just the thing of it, but that's a good thing. That way you don't have to carry your plate carrier in on you or in a backpack, put it on before you go and then carry it all the way the fuck back. So like I said, that's likely not going to be a situation in a SHTF. Static guard situations. Say you have a community and you have people that are on guard or you have an outpost or whatever and they can, they're just sitting there. They're not having to move a lot and they have their plate carriers on for protection in that type of situation. Another one is knowing you're going to take contact. If you know that you're going to take contact in a certain situation, it's best to have a plate carrier on. I mean, it can be best to have a plate carrier on, discuss that later on, but that's a good reason to have a plate carrier on. Situations for chest rigs, say reconnaissance, scavenging, um, patrolling your land or say your community that you've put together after a SHTF situation has occurred. And then also, um, I mean, not also, but it's really in anything where there could be a chance of making contact, taking contact, but I mean, it's unlikely to take contact, but you have stuff there just in case. So yeah, just in case you could take contact situations like that. Now the reality is you don't want to take contact. Yes, if you are in one of those situations where you have a community and you have guards there, then that's probably the best reason to have a plate carrier for somebody in an SHTF situation. The only problem is you get shot anywhere, you're likely going to die in an SHTF situation because there's not going to be modern medicine. You're going to get an infection. It's just really how fast do you want to die after you get shot? Yes, people could cauterize stuff. Yes, people died from wounds in the past. Or yes, people lived from wounds in the past. I understand that. But, I mean, you're likely, if you get shot anywhere besides here in your plate carrier, say they're aiming right here, guess where it's more than likely going to hit? It's going to hit here in your abdomen. It could hit in your pelvis. It could hit your head those are the most likely things if it doesn't hit your chest here it's going to hit arteries in your armpits and you're fucked so i mean really it's how fast do you want to die yeah i mean granted 
if you don't get hit here, cool, that's great. But what is the likelihood of you only taking one shot to the chest in a situation like that? If you, you're, what, what is the likelihood of you only taking one shot to the plate carrier and nothing else anywhere in that kind of situation? I mean, I guess really it comes down to brass facts said this. Do you want to be able to get the person to their loved ones to be able to say their goodbyes and everything? That's really what it comes down to on that one. Now, I'm not saying don't go buy body armor. I mean, I have body armor. I have videos of it. I have two plate carriers up here with armor. And I mean, <laughs> there's certain rules, uh, but I don't think it's going to play as big of a role in the SHTF as you think um, or some people think. Uh, chest rigs, in my opinion, will play a larger role and be more important, especially because you don't want to make contact. You want to stay away from people so you don't have to get shot at. You have your chest rig just in case that does come. So, I mean, really stay away from people that you think you're going to make contact with or they're going to start shooting at you. Stay away from those people. If you're doing recon, you've, you're getting shot at, you fucked up. Uh, if you're scavenging, get the fuck away once you've gotten everything. Just that is the reality of an SHTF situation when it comes to plate carriers and chest rigs LBE. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I've been getting a lot of views lately and it's, it's awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below because most of the people that watch my videos lately aren't subscribed and share it to other people for that don't understand this type of thing that are just now getting into it and they think, oh, I'm going to have a plate carrier. I'm going to be the most fucking badass motherfucker out there with my plate carrier and no one's going to kill me because that's not true. Well, like, share, subscribe. If you would like to donate to the channel, there is a way down below too because ammo is expensive, guns are expensive, plate carriers are expensive, chest rigs are expensive, gear is expensive, and I mean, you don't have to send me any money. Just if you would like to, there's a way to do it down below. Maybe sooner out.